Why Do We Sing is a picture book about the power of music and family and how music expresses universal emotions. Hi, I'm Dan Skinner and welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Ahead, we'll explore the book and talk with the authors and illustrator about the inspirations behind it. Sam Shuey and Casey Brevis are married singers, composers, and content creators who live in Los Angeles with the daughter Alaya and their cat Alfie. They've turned their love of music and family into the picture book, Why Do We Sing? Sam and Casey, welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Thank you for having Hello. us. I understand that there are multiple inspirations for this picture book, including the music that you produce, your family, etc. So tell us about how this book came about. Yeah, well, we have a daughter. We've recently become parents, and so ourselves have become immersed in children's books and music. And so, yeah, we wanted to throw our hat into the ring and create something that meant something to us and our family. So we wrote and illustrated this book, Why Do We Sing? There's a companion album, and we're so excited about it. We met singing in the same acapella group in college, and so music has, and singing has always been part of our story, and it's something that we are so excited and happy to share with our daughter and and with kids, hopefully, around the country and around the world. Well, I want to talk about the book in just a moment, but tell us about the uh, One Song Every Country uh, project that you oh, do. Yeah. Well, we've been making music online for a while and, and always want to challenge ourselves and keep things fresh. So we, we started this challenge of singing a single song from every country in the world, all 195 UN, On the UN list, yep. countries. And it's, you know, we learn a lot with each new country. You know, we thought because we know some different languages and we've had some, you know, sung in some different traditions. We we got this, but with each new one, we are learning and uh, challenging And ourselves. it's been so fun to explore this incredible music from, you know, small countries, large countries, countries you've, you know, I, I've never been to or might never go to, but there's there's incredible music from, from everywhere. Yeah. And just reading the comments online of, of just the amount of sort of global love for this series and we're meeting new people and learning new things. It's great. Yeah. And this picture book represents that, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment, about the, the diversity of cultures that are represented here. But tell us a bit about why you wanted to create a picture book. You said it was in part because of your family, but why did you want to address this topic with this age? Well, yeah, I mean, our daughter loves loves reading already and is an avid reader, so we knew we wanted to make something for her. And I've been uh, painting and illustrating since I was a kid, and this is the first time I've had a real outlet to, to create something. Um, and so, yeah, it all it's sort of our family, the music, the art all came together, and it, it really made sense, and we have had such a great time creating this this book. I think getting to see Sam's illustra illustrations come to life is so amazing too, because he's been, I mean, if you go to his childhood home, it is covered in paintings from age two through yes. high school. And so getting to do this. Finally making use of yes. skill. <laughs> Can you read a portion of the book for us to give us a taste of what readers will find here? Oh, sure. Why do we sing, hum a tune, belt out a melody? Why do we make music with our voices? Well, let's see. We sing because we are happy or to say, I feel strong. When we sing together, we know that we belong. Well, as I mentioned in your book that you've illustrated, you have a variety of cultures and ethnicities involved here. Did you have to do some research to make sure you represented those people correctly? Yes, absolutely. Most definitely. Like with this series we're doing online, we wanted to make sure we were being thoughtful and, and respectful. Um, and really what the book is showing is that throughout all of these diverse vocal singing traditions, the reasons, the, the why of why do we sing are all pretty universal. We sing to express ourselves, to tell stories, to you know remember and connect culturally. And so even though there's a lot of different cultures represented, really the driving force is, is the why. Picture books are often read to children by adults. So did you kind of keep that audience in mind as well as you were putting this book together? Adults, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think we wanted to create something that was interesting and, and informative for, for parents and and caregivers as well as as well as kids. Yeah, similarly with the, the companion soundtrack album, we wanted to create music that kids would like, but also that parents would enjoy listening to. We certainly to. know as parents that when your child likes a song, you have to listen to it hundreds of times <laughs> in the car <laughs> and at home. So hopefully with the music on the, on the soundtrack album, it, it's something that has repeat listenability. Yeah. I'm talking with Sam Shuey and Casey Brevis about Why Do We Sing? 
and our conversation continues in a moment. If you're enjoying this discussion, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you'll know when I post new interviews with authors. And thank you. You know, frequently when picture books are put together, the authors and illustrators work completely separately. And in your case, you get to work together. So do you think that gives you a creative advantage? I think so. Uh, we work together on almost everything yeah. these days. I mean, uh, all of our music and writing and parenting. And parenting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we have a really good system. And um, yeah, I think it has allowed, doing it all has allowed this book to have one really cohesive feel. It's, it's us on the page. And that, that was really special. So how would you describe your creative process uh, and this process of working together on the book? I think we're pretty good at at disagreeing and and yes. and getting through our disagreements and hopefully as any good creative yeah, of partnership course. that 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 hopefully leads to a to a even better finished product. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. But but yeah, I think working with someone for so long and in so many different capacities, we're on the same wavelength, and so we we just we kind of speak the same creative language. Which makes and this easy. project was so important to us and so connected to us that it, it felt really natural and and really beautiful to to work on it the, throughout the entire process. One of the things I think people don't understand about picture books is they look at it and they think, oh, that must be simple. But there are so many challenges to a picture book. You have a limited amount of pages, you know, a limited amount of words you can use. How did this challenge work for you? And I guess, what did you learn along the way? We learned so much. I mean, our our incredible editor Sarah at HarperCollins was was so helpful. And I, yeah. <laughs> I think just just learning, like you said, sort of economy of language and 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 conveying your message with kind of as little extra stuff as as possible. That you know, these illustrations spend a lot of time. There's a lot of beauty and detail, and so letting the words kind of be simple and timeless. Um, was definitely something we focused a lot on and, and learned a lot about. Yeah, I think our process was paring down some of the the language that we had and and creating finding the the jewel of the story within. Now you create a lot of different types of content together. What did this experience teach you? Hmm. That's a great question. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was really refreshing to be able to create something that just had so much heart and so was so aligned with where we are in our lives. Mm. Having become dads, you know, and just being immersed in the world of, of being parents and how much fun that is and, and getting to sort of put all 100% of ourselves into a project was really cool and kind of novel. I, I think this is the project that's felt the most aligned with with where we are and yeah. what we what we wanted to be doing. Sam, how would you describe your illustration style? Oh, you know, I, I'm self-taught, as I said, just from a kid, just, just doing stuff. I, I like to use a lot of color clearly. Um, and um, yeah, I just treated each each page like its own little world and its own little illustration. And um, yeah, just just leading with, with beauty and character. And um, it was really so rewarding to work on, honestly. And lots of little details in the pictures as well. Yeah, our our family kind of shows up in each in each page. We're kind of the observers of these various vocal traditions. So maybe kids can have fun kind of finding where us and our daughter and our cat, cat are yeah. in all the different. That's pictures. our daughter's favorite part of the book is finding the cat in every Alfie. page. That's the, that's the <laughs> challenge. Yeah. So we touched on this a little bit earlier, but what is the the message or feeling that you hope readers, young people, are going to take from the book? I think we we want to share the idea that every child has a voice and should use that voice to sing, that singing is for everybody. Singing is universal. It's not just a special talent. Uh, it's yeah. something that everyone can partake in and that everyone should uh, should feel free to express themselves with from a from a young age. Yeah, singing is the first kind of <clears throat> music most kids can make. You know, you don't need anything else. And so it's, it's something that we all have within us. And this just shows all of the reasons why you might want to, you know, lift your voice and sing. So now that you have this picture book out there, do you think there might be more picture books in your future? I hope so. I mean, yeah. this has been such a such a dream and so much fun. And simply getting to hold the physical book in our hands oh is gosh. such a yeah. surreal feeling. And so <laughs> definitely, we, we, we definitely want to do more for sure. Well, tell us more about the companion piece to this book, the, the music that people can listen to and, and where they can find it. Yeah, so you can find it anywhere. You stream your music, Spotify, Apple Music. You can download it. On it's also The album is also called Why Do We Sing? Yes. The, the, uh, the companion album, yeah. the official soundtrack. And um, right, it's, a, it's 
10 original tracks and each of them is kind of inspired by one of these different vocal traditions. So there's a campfire song, a, a Bollywood inspired song with the great artist Vidya Vox. There's an opera inspired song. So mariachi it, trio there. We, we had so much fun collaborating with, with great artists and exploring these different genres. Yeah, so listening album. through it is kind of a journey, sort of like reading the book. This picture book is Why Do We Sing? Written by Sam Shuey and Casey Brevis and illustrated by Sam Shuey. Sam and Casey, thank you for talking with me today. Of course. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure. Now, if you'd like to purchase Why Do We Sing? I placed a link for you in the description below. Thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. And if you'd like to see more videos about children's books and their creators, be sure to subscribe, like, and click on the bell to be notified about future programs. And if you're interested in books for young adult and older readers, be sure to check out my Some Books Considered channel, and you'll find a link to that below as well. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading.